Admiral William H. M. McRaven, Sea Stories, My Life in Special Operations. Embark on an exhilarating journey through the remarkable life of Admiral William H. M. McRaven, as he shares his enthralling experiences in A Sea Stories, My Life in Special Operations. This book takes you on a roller coaster ride of emotion and adventure, detailing the formidable challenges and inspiring successes of McRaven's military career. From the Cold War mission that honed his determination, to the Navy SEAL training that tested his resilience and the captivating events leading to the capture of Saddam Hussein and Osama bin Laden, immerse yourself in the pivotal moments that shaped McRaven's life and the world as we know it today. Operation Volcano In his memoir, William McRaven recalls his childhood mischief of attempting to break into a high-security ammunition storage facility in San Antonio, Texas. Dubbed Operation Volcano, McRaven and his friends armed themselves with toy guns and hot dogs to ward off K-9 guard dogs. Though his friends didn't follow through, McRaven successfully made it to the top of the third fence before fleeing from sirens and guard dogs. The incident taught him never to lie to his father again, but it certainly didn't quell his desire for adventure. Perseverance in the Face of Failure The book describes the grueling six-month-long basic underwater demolition-slash-seal, bud-slash-s, training to become a Navy SEAL. This program is known for its mental and physical toughness, where less than half of all trainees graduate. The most challenging part of the training is Hell Week, which involves six days of no sleep, constant harassment, and impossible commands. The book narrates how perseverance is the key to success in BUD-S, emphasizing that physical strength, intelligence, and speed play a limited role. The author describes an incident where he had a near-death experience during the final BUD-S exercise. During the helicopter cast and recovery exercise, McRaven's helicopter lost power in one engine and was heading for him. With quick thinking and determination, McRaven swam as deep as possible, surfaced, and escaped the machine, surviving the ordeal. This experience taught him that anything is possible with perseverance in the face of failure. Throughout his training, McRaven faced numerous setbacks and failures but learned to persevere amidst adversity. He realized that the ability to push oneself and work collaboratively with others is vital in achieving success, even in the most extreme conditions. The book emphasizes the value of perseverance, resilience, and teamwork in achieving long-term goals and contributes to a broader discussion of how to succeed in challenging situations. McRaven's Brave Encounter McRaven finally gets the chance to serve his country in a way that gives his life meaning. For 15 years, William McRaven served in the Navy witnessing both bravery and tragedy, but he still craved to serve his country in a meaningful way through an honorable battle. His chance came in 1990 when Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait, and President Bush ordered Operation Desert Shield for the buildup of troops in defense of Saudi Arabia. McRaven was on deployment on board the USS Okinawa as part of the Amphibious Squadron 5. As the lead ship, they received intelligence that the Amuria, an Iraqi supertanker, was transporting something of value to Saddam Hussein. Despite resistance from the ship's crew, McRaven was able to force the ship to stop without casualties. In the end, nothing suspicious was found, and the Amuria was allowed to continue on to Iraq. However, U.S. intelligence later found out that Saddam Hussein was planning to sink Iraqi oil ships to cause an ecological disaster in the Arabian Gulf, and sure enough, among them was the Amuria. Thanks to McRaven's efforts, the ship was neutralized, despite not knowing its true purpose at the time. McRaven finally found meaning in his service to his country by taking part in a mission that proved to be critical to the United States' success in the Gulf War. McRaven's Unwavering Determination As the commanding officer of the Naval Special Warfare Group 1, William H. McRaven was on track to become an admiral. But a parachute accident left him with severe injuries that could have ended his career. Despite the challenges he faced, Admiral Eric Olson deferred McRaven's medical requirements, giving him time to recover and keep his upcoming job. McRaven went on to become a celebrated SEAL, 
retiring as a four-star admiral and even serving as the Chancellor of the University of Texas. His unwavering determination is a testament to the strength of human spirit and the power of kindness. McRaven's Role in Combating Terrorism In the aftermath of September 11, McRaven became the Director of Strategy and Military Affairs for the newly established Office of Combating Terrorism. His responsibility extended to liaising with various government agencies with the aim of safely bringing American hostages home. One of his successes involved the successful kidnapping of American missionaries held by an affiliate of Al-Qaeda. He proposed a plan where special forces known as Green Berets were deployed to support the Philippine Army in their pursuit of the terrorists. As the head of the nation's hostage rescue and counterterrorism force, McRaven was focused on serving the American people, which he carried out by deploying measures such as the screening of shoes and laptops for airline passengers. The Hunt for Saddam McRaven's leadership in capturing Saddam Hussein during the Iraq War Deployed to Baghdad in 2003, McRaven led the Special Operations Unit tasked with capturing or killing the United States' top 50 high-value targets, including Saddam Hussein. His intuition during a flight led to the discovery of Saddam's whereabouts in Tikrit. McRaven monitored the operation from Camp Nama and received the news that Saddam had been found in a hidden spider hole. After a nine-month mission, Hussein was captured alive and held under McRaven's supervision before being transferred to another facility. Three years later, Hussein was executed for crimes against humanity. Although violence continues in Iraq, McRaven believes that the sacrifice of American soldiers in eliminating Hussein and other terrorists has saved the lives of thousands. Mission Accomplished the summary covers the successful mission of the U.S. Navy SEAL Team 6 to find and kill Osama bin Laden in Abbottabad, Pakistan. In 2011, a breakthrough in the search for the elusive leader of Al-Qaeda and the mastermind behind the 9-11 attacks, Osama bin Laden, was made. Admiral William McRaven was appointed to lead the operation to capture or kill him. With an approval from President Obama, McRaven and his Navy SEAL team had to test their plan called Operation Neptune Spear, which entailed flying into Abbottabad, Pakistan, and raiding the compound where Bin Laden was hiding. The rehearsal went smoothly, and the raid was approved. As the team flew in, they encountered challenges and the first helicopter almost crashed into the compound's wall. However, the highly trained pilot managed to keep the helicopter from crashing, and the team successfully made it into the compound. The SEALs made their way into the compound, where they found Bin Laden on the third floor. In a matter of moments, he was dead. The team immediately called for the second helicopter to pick them up along with Bin Laden's body and electronics from the building. On their journey back to Afghanistan, McRaven was concerned they would be stopped by the Pakistani government. Fortunately, they were able to refuel and meet the third helicopter in a remote location. By 0330, both helicopters were safely back on Afghan soil. Despite encountering challenges, the mission was a success, and the U.S. had captured and killed Bin Laden. The book highlights the bravery and skill of the U.S. Navy SEAL Team 6, and their successful mission in bringing justice for the victims of 9-11. Lessons from a Retired Navy SEAL Retired Navy SEAL Admiral, William McRaven, delivers a heartfelt speech during his retirement ceremony that highlights the importance of teamwork, humility, and love. McRaven shares that his career achievements were only possible because of his wife, George Ann, and the countless individuals who supported him throughout his four decades of service. He emphasizes that acts of love and kindness prevail despite the darkness in the world and receives the Bullfrog Award as the longest-serving active duty SEAL. As sea stories, my life in special operations comes to a close, the importance of perseverance, determination, and teamwork in overcoming failure becomes crystal clear. Admiral William H. McRaven's extraordinary experiences remind us that it is possible to triumph over the most harrowing obstacles, when we refuse to give in. Throughout his distinguished career, McRaven emerged as a strong and compassionate leader who made a significant difference in the world. 
In watching his tale unfold, we gain a deeper understanding of the dedication and bravery of the military personnel who risk their lives for the betterment of others. Ultimately, Sea Stories highlights that the ideals of honor and selflessness have the power to triumph over darkness and prevail in the face of adversity.